afternoon from Hobbiton. This is just a quick vlog because um, Chuck asked me about my favourite role playing systems to use solo and it's not a very long list. Um, the one I've used the most and indeed I used it for a campaign which lasted several sessions is Swords and Wizardry. I really like it. It's an OSR game, it's based on the old versions of uh, Dungeons and Dragons. It has that old school feel. Um, it contains all your usual fantasy classes and races and a nice mixture of monsters. Um, the artwork is pretty nice throughout. Um, loads of spells if you're into spells. It's got everything you need really. Um, you can download the complete rules PDF for free so you can try it before you might decide you want to, a hard copy or something. But I really enjoy this one. Um, there's no little skill system like there is in basic Dungeons and Dragons where it's um, roll your stat or less on a d20 to succeed in this thing. Um, but you can house rule that, you can in include that in anything. But um, I've really enjoyed this one, I really like it. And in a similar vein, basic fantasy is really good. Again, it's available for free on PDF and not only that, basicfantasy.org you can download loads of extra character options, extra classes, uh, extra skill rules, extra equipment, uh, loads of stuff and loads of adventures that are totally free to download on PDF as well. If you, if you buy the hard copies they're, they're really very cheap. Um, another really good game, nicely put together book, the artwork is pretty good throughout. Uh, there's plenty of pictures for the monsters which I always like because it's uh, nice to see what the creatures look like rather than just relying on a description. That's just, just something that I particularly like. So Basic Fantasy is another one of my absolute favourites. Um, yeah, I love this. Um, trouble is, the hard copies are becoming difficult to find. Often they might be in a poor state, so um, they can be quite expensive. However, the PDFs are available um, at fairly okay prices. I think they're about £10 or something each or something like that. Um, drive through RPG and whatever. So you can download the PDFs, but um, I love these rules. Um, in the first two games I spoke about, you can have ascending or descending armor class. This is your descending armor class and it's great. I love it. There's so much nostalgia in here. Um, from the Arrow Lotus covers to all of the internal art, um, I, I love it. I've had it for years. Um, I started with basic D&D and I love it to this. That's that one. The other game I've used in the, the Shonen In story um, at the beginning of the year was RuneQuest 3. This was an old copy. Um, it's really good. I like the skill system, which is great if you're doing a solo game because, um, you know, if you need to see if, well, can I manage to do that thing? Can I manage to take my boat through these rapids or something? And you look at your boat skill, oh yeah, I can, yeah. So you roll your percentage and see if you can manage it. Um, the character creation is longer than your average OSR game. But I would say for me it's quicker than 5th edition because I tried to create a Dwarf Fighter in 5th edition uh, the other week and it took me ages. This took a lot less time to create Shonen and I look forward to doing some more Shonen stories because uh, I enjoyed that. Um, my selection of creatures, plenty of stuff, advice for GMs about creating worlds and putting together adventures and plots and things like that. Really good. White box I've Come to think of as a bit of a group game because I, it was the first group game I ran in about 20 years back in October so in my head it's it's a group game now but um, I love this little book the PDF is available for free and the artwork in here is just really nice black and white art it's, it's quite a consistent style throughout it's really nice sort of uh, very old looking line drawings, um, nice selection of monsters and new classes, all that you might expect from an old school role playing game. I will just mention, although I don't consider it really a solo game that I generally do, 
but I've, I have used it on the channel. And that's something called Classics. We play this in our group. And the brilliant thing about it is that I'm not that into magic. I'm, I'm, it doesn't really interest me much, but the magic system in here is amazing. It's so crazy. You never know what's going to happen. If you've seen my um, Temple of the Crocodilith video, I use a bit of magic in that. It's great. I, I wish you know you could just take the um, magic section out of here and add it to any OSR game. It will make it a million times better. Um, I love it. I love the magic system. It's crazy. And all the other wonderful, ridiculous rules that are specifically designed to make it absolutely bonkers. I love this game. It's brilliant fun. But as I say, we, we play it on our groups. So I, I just thought, it, think of it as a, a group game these days. Those are all the games I wanted to talk about. They are my favourites. Swords and Wizardry and Basic Fantasy. Basically my, my favourites. They're easily available for free on PDF so you can try before you buy. Um, the Basic D&D and Expert D&D BX are um, hard to find now in hard copy. Um, so your, your OSR stuff is, is just a great alternative to that than having to trawl through eBay to try and find something expensive and probably quite tatty by now. But um, yeah, Swords of Modestry, Basic Fantasy, they capture that old school feel. They're available for free and um, I really enjoy both of them. I really do. Thank you very much for watching. I don't intend to do any, many more um, Talking Heads videos except when I'm really pressed for time. But um, see you next time.